Hey guys, it's Trisha with Upcycled Stuff. I've been making and selling these booze bottle bird feeders for a couple of years now, and today I'm going to show you how to make your very own. So let's get started with some supplies. First and foremost, you're going to need a pair of safety glasses, so just go right ahead and put those on now. Then of course you're going to need some kind of liquor bottle. I just have a plain wine bottle here. You'll need to have three to four holes drilled in the bottom, and I'll leave a link below to the last video that I did showing you how to drill a hole through glass. Um, the other thing you want to look for in your bottle is that at the top, around the neck, there needs to be some kind of a lip. We're going to put a hanger on and it needs to catch, it's just going to be wrapped around the neck of the bottle, um, so it needs something to catch on. Um, so make sure you have some kind of lip, it doesn't have to be huge, this one's not very big, it just has to be enough to catch the hanger. Um, okay, so that's your bottle. You'll need some kind of a silicone sealant. This is um, like a plumber's glue or um, caulk that you would use around your windows. Um, it's 100% clear silicone. Uh, you can use a colored silicone if you want, but I recommend the water, the clear. Then it won't show through if you have a clear bottle. Um, also, you don't have to use a um, caulking gun. You can buy silicone in smaller tubes if you don't have much other use for it. Um, then you'll need a vice grip or a needle nose plier. I recommend a vice grip if you have it. A cork or the original lid that was on your liquor bottle um, just to close up and seal your bird feeder. You'll need a length of copper wire. I think this is six gauge, six or eight gauge wire. Um, and it's sold on like these big loops. It's usually inside of a bit of plastic. It can be pretty pricey, so if you want to try some other kind of crafting wire, aluminum wire, or something like that, um, by all means, I can't guarantee that it holds up to weather, and it certainly won't patina like copper does. So I think mine, this piece is about 15 inches, so somewhere between 12 and 18 inches should be um, a good length. Um, it all kind of depends on the size of the neck of your bottle and also where you're hanging your, um, where you're, if you're hanging from a tree branch, it might need to be a little bit longer as opposed to a shepherd's hook, which is really thin. And then of course you'll need a base for your bird feeder so I'm using a thrifted plate now don't think you have to use just a plate I've used old frying pans um, uh, lids to old pots and pans and it gives it a really cute unique look if you're going for the the junk finds look so certainly plates are very pretty you can find you know I think I pay 50 cents in a thrift store for this one so um, let's get started the first thing I want to do is attach the hanger to the neck of my bottle. So I'm going to take my vice grip and I'm going to probably, again, if you're putting this around um, like a tree branch and you need a, a bigger hanger, you'll adjust this size. But I am going to go probably about a third of the way down my piece of copper wire and I'm going to make a 90 degree bend using my vice grip. Did I ever tell you the story? I know I have it in one of my videos. Um, the gentleman who came up to my craft booth and said, who mends your copper wire for you, little lady? <laughs> I said, well, of course I do. So when I got the skeptical look, I told him, um, if you have the right tool, you can do anything. Um, and this is the right tool, so I highly recommend a vice grip. Again, needle nose plier will probably work fine, but this has a little bit more force, a little bit more weight to it. Um, okay, so I have my 90 degree bend. This part here is going to be the hanger that hangs over the tree. So I'm just going to grab the end of it and shape it a little bit. But you can adjust this with your hand. Um, you can work it a little bit more after you've um, gotten the rest of it done and onto your bottle. Let me move this out of the way. The other thing to know is that this, um, the vice grip and probably your needle nose too might have some grooves on it that could nick the surface of your copper wire. Um, so you could do a couple of things. You could take a piece of like heavy duty denim or something like that and put it between the vice grip teeth and your piece of metal before you start working with it. Or you might even be able to see the remnants from the last time I did it. Um, I put duct tape on mine uh, over the teeth just so you don't nick up the surface. All right. So now on the opposite end, you're going to grab your copper wire and what we're going to do is make a couple of loops um, that are going to fit over the top of the neck of our bottle. 
We don't want it to be a tight fit right now. We'll tighten it once it's on. We just want to get the basic shape because it will be pretty hard once it's on the bottle. So it's really just about muscling it. I don't know how well you can see. That's why I apologize if it's not a good view, but I'm doing the best I can. Okay. And then I just like to make sure that that end piece is coiled inward as much as possible so it's not sticking out. It's hard to um, coil it once it's on the, bo on the bottle. Okay. Now, just slip it on here and you're going to take your vice grip. Um, this is where the vice grip will probably come in more handy than a needle nose. I'm going to open up the jaws just a little bit um, so that it's easier to hold in my hand. I don't have to open it quite as wide to get the teeth apart. All right, so now I'm going to take, let me try to show you what I'm going to do and then I'll start doing it. But I'm going to just start squeezing with one part of the jaw of my pliers on this bottom piece and then the other on the top piece so that it sort of starts to squeeze together without deforming, if that makes any sense. Um, and I don't know how well you're going to see it, so let's, let's just start doing it and then we'll see how it goes. This is where the glasses, the goggles, come in really handy, so make sure you have them on, because see, you can easily um, lose your grip. And if you squeeze that glass bottle, you could very likely um, pop the glass. Okay, so you just start squeezing until you get it wrapped around your bottle a little bit tighter. Okay, and you can see I didn't use any kind of um, tape or fabric in between my vice grip and my um, copper wire. So I do have some nicks in the surface, which when it's hanging, you're not going to see it. And honestly, if I didn't point it out, you probably wouldn't really pay any attention to it. Um, you could use a little steel wool to help buff those out. Um, but other than that, it's the hangers done. So one last really quick step and it's done. So grab your plate and your caulking gun or your um, your tube of silicone, whichever you're using. Okay, last step. And lordy lordy, am I having some issues today. I broke my caulk gun so I had to go out and get my backup. And the funny thing is the other one was newer. Anyway, um, so I have my silicone all loaded into a new caulking gun. And like I said, you don't have to use a caulking gun. You can get the self-squeezing tubes. So what you're gonna do is take your wine bottle and you're gonna make a, um, a bead of glue all, all the way around the rim of your bottle. So just go ahead and apply your glue. It doesn't have to be a ton, it just has to be a complete seal. And I'm probably putting too much, I'm going to have a mess to clean up. So then you're going to find center of your plate and just press it into place. You'll hear some popping, likely. And those are just air bubbles popping, you want to make sure they pop. If your bottle slides very easily across the plate, um, okay, now it feels like they're all out. Um, that means you probably have an air bubble and you want to make sure you push it down hard enough to get rid of those. But I think I'm good. It'll wiggle, but um, you can tell the difference um, once you've done one. All right, now you'll see that I have some blobs of glue because I put a little bit too much. You just take a wet rag and run it all the way around the bottom of your bottle to get rid of that.
and when it's dry, it'll probably, those are gonna be places where you probably missed or it just kind of smeared. You can just take a utility knife to get the rest of that off. It'll just scrape right off. But if you um, take your time and do it neatly the first time around, you won't have to worry about that. You're gonna just put this aside and let it dry. It only takes three hours if you're using that silicone um, to be rain ready, so it'll be ready to go outside. Um, and then all you have to do is fill it with birdseed and pop in your either the cap that came with the bottle or another wine cork. And that is how you make a booze bottle bird feeder.